My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 42. Today is our lesson number 42. Yesterday we started the topic of prime factors and we're going to continue with that until day number 45. We're going to do five lessons on the concept of prime factors. Let's learn how to figure out prime factors of a given number. This is list all the prime factors of 156. If you like, if you wish, you can pause the video and try to do it yourself. List all the prime factors of 156. Once you have your answer, you can continue watching the video and compare your work against the work that we'll do together for the for the all, all five of the problems that we're going to do together right now. The very first one we have is 156. This is how we go about it. When we want to find the prime, when we want to find the prime factors of a number, we start out by asking ourselves what is the lowest possible prime number that I can find that we can divide this number evenly by. Well, this is an even number, so it can we can divide by two. Two is the lowest prime number that we can find. How many twos in a fifteen? Fifteen has seven twos. The remaining one goes and joins the six, becomes sixteen, and sixteen has eight twos. Well, that also turns out to be an even number. Let's do one more time. But it has to be a prime number. We cannot start with 4. How many 2's in a 7? 7 has 3 2's. 7 has 3 2's. The remaining one goes and joins the 8. Becomes 18. And 18 has 9 2's. We can no longer divide by 2. Let's do 3. 3 has 1 3. And 9, nine has 3 3. That's it. Since, since 13 is a prime number, that's the end of the story. Since 13 is a prime number, that's the end of the story. And... That tells us that 156 can be written as, from that we conclude that 156 can be written as 2 times 2, 2 squared, times 3, times 13. And the prime factors, prime factors of 156 are 2, 3, and 13. 2, 3, and 13. It has 3 prime factors. 156 has three prime factors, 2, 3, and 13. If something is repeated, we don't we don't write them again. We don't say 2, we, it's 2 squared, but we do not say 2, 2, 3, 13. It's just 2, 3, 13. Let's do one more, shall we? The next one, you do it yourself. List all the prime factors of 108. 108. Do it yourself, see what happens. Hundred eight is an even number. Let's begin with two. Ten has five twos and eight has four twos. Fifty-four is an even number. Let's divide by two one more time. Five has two twos. The remaining one goes and joins four, becomes fourteen, and fourteen has seven twos. It's no longer an even number. Let's divide by three. Twenty-seven has nine threes. Let's divide one more time by three. There we go. We reach an, at the end. We reach a prime number. That's where the story ends. Which tells us that 108, which tells us that 108 can be written as 2 squared, which we have there, and 1, 2, 3 cubed. 3 cubed. 2 squared and 3 cubed. And therefore the prime factors of 108, 108 are simply 2 and 3. Simply 2 and 3. Let's do one, do, let's do one more. 372. 372. As I keep telling you, it is always a good idea, it is in fact an excellent idea for you to pause the video as soon as I give you the problem and do it yourself. Three hundred and seventy-two. It's an even number. We must begin with two. Has to be the lowest possible prime number that you can find. Do you understand? That's how we find the prime factors. If you start out with some bigger number, you might miss something. Divide by 2. How many 2's does 3 have? 3 has 1, 2. 3 has 1, 2. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 7, becomes 17. 17 has 8 2's. 8 2's are 16. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 2, becomes 12, and 12 has 6 2's. 186 is what I find. Let's divide by 2 one more time. How many 2's does 1 have? 1 has no 2's. That 1 goes and joins the 8, becomes 18. 18 has 9 2's. How many 2's does 6 have? 6 has 3 2's. 
we can no longer divide by 2 because it's an odd number, let's divide by 3. 3 has, 9 has 3 threes, and 3 has 1 3. 31 is the prime number, that's where the story ends, and therefore we conclude that 372, 372 can be written as 2 squared and a 3. 2 squared, 2 squared times 3 times 31. And the prime factors of prime factors of 372, 372 are 2, 3 and 31. 2, 3 and 31. Let me fix my notes here. In my notes I have written down 2, 3 and 13. It's not 2, 3 and 13. Unless I made a mistake here. No, it should be 31. It should be 31. It cannot be 13. It cannot be 13 for one very simple fact because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 13 is not going to bring you all the way up to 400, almost 400. 12 times 13, we know 12 times 12 is 144, 12 times 13 is not even 200, we need to go up to 372. Of course it's 31 and not 13. I'll give you a very roundabout explanation. Let's do one more. Prime factors of 100. Prime factors of 100. Same exact process, same exact procedure, same exact routine, nothing ever changes. We divide by the lowest possible prime factor that we can find. That's going to give us 50. Divide by 2 one more time. That's going to give us 25. 25 cannot be divided by 3. We have to divide by 5. 5 is the next, five, five, five is the next prime number. And we find that 100 can be written as 100 can be written as 2 squared times times 5 squared and therefore the prime factors of 100 are prime factors of 100 are 2 and 5 let's do one more it says the problem says list all the prime factors of 1 million or 1 billion or 1 trillion Does, doesn't really matter if you like, we can make it 1 billion. List all the prime factors of 1 billion. Well, 1 billion is simply 10 raised to 9. And since 10, since 10 can be written as 2 times 5, then 10 raised to 9 is simply 2 times 5 raised to 9, which is simply 2 raised to 9 and 5 raised to 9. We're going to have 9 2's be multiplied together and 9 5's. But it doesn't alter the fact that the prime factors are still 2 and 5, same as before. Same as before. Prime factors of prime factors of prime factors of 1 billion are 2 and are 2 and 5s. So remember, if you have to find prime factors of a number that has a zeros at the end, whether 1, 0, or 2, 0, any number of zeros, take the zeros separately and do your work separately. Do you understand? Take care of the multiples of tens first and the other part separately. We'll do that. Well, actually, you will see that in tomorrow's video. Right now, I'm not making any sense, but tomorrow we'll do some more examples, okay? Bye now.